Our business correspondent Joe Lynham is here. Joe, um, it's significant this, and the US is going to fight it every step of the way, isn't it? It is. It's already got the. It started its fight back by saying that there was a miscalculation to the tune of two trillion U.S. dollars by Standard and Poor's. That's two thousand billion dollars. That's an incredible amount of money to have wrong on your books. So they're getting their uh, fight back in early. They're already starting to remind people how wrong S and P and the other credit rating agencies were in 2007, 2008, when they were giving triple A ratings uh, to derivatives, which were effectively worth nothing. So they're getting their retaliation in very, very early. But this is going to have a major impact in the United States because the the concentric circles of falling confidence is going to spread around the world. And already in the last few minutes, we've just had comments of, from the Chinese news agency Xinhua. They're saying that the United States uh, the, should be international supervision of the U.S. dollar and, if necessary, a new global reserve currency. Now, this is hugely significant because China owns $1.6 trillion dollars of U.S. securities. It's so the biggest holder of foreign It reserves. is the biggest yeah. single creditor of the United States. So it, when it, this is truly a case of the, wa the tail will start wagging the dog if, if it doesn't get the changes it likes. It is livid about this because the value of their assets are going to start going down. Of course, we haven't seen the reaction on the market yet, but already the political reaction is growing. Joe, thanks very much. Okay.